Yo, what is up guys? I am back in my closet office because of course, uh, while I'm at work, we get, we get dropped a bunch of, uh, a bunch of leaks, a bunch of news. So if you guys weren't aware, um, some patents were, uh, found for X and there's some really interesting stuff going on. So, uh, some of these patents may not be used. Um, some of the designs may not be finalized. But there's some really interesting stuff. I'm sure somewhere in the mix of this stuff is um, the final product or um, the, the final gimmick or system or whatever schematic for that. Um, but first up, we got the stadium, which looks really interesting. I know at one point it was um, said that there was going to be two exits. It looks like there's just one exit and there's like a wall, like a um, uh, like a curved wall around the back side. And it looks like the stadium tapers up and then meets that wall. So you can kind of like run around that 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 curved area in the back. Um, yeah, the stadium looks looks interesting. Um, I'm not a huge fan of gimmick stadiums, but I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to pass any any judgment on it until I actually see it in use. It looks it looks interesting. Um, and then the actual patents for the Beyblades that we got, we don't see anything for the attack ring or the layer, mostly the, the like the base, which seems to be where the gimmick is um, mostly focused. So uh, th there's a couple of different gears um, that make up that sort of um, assembly or whatever. And it looks like there is a clutch system um, that activates on springs so what I'm thinking happens is that when it's first launched or whatever, those um, uh, gears compress and it probably keeps the tip from free spinning and um, creates like, um, like high speed or whatever. And then um, as the um, battle goes on, um, if centrifugal force kind of lessens, then that releases, and then the tip becomes free spinning. Maybe that's that's kind of what I'm. That's my guess. Looking at it, obviously I'm not an engineer, um, but that it looks like how it would work to me. Now I don't know how many of these parts are interchangeable. I don't know if it's like one giant chunk that is all, you know, like one piece. I doubt it is. You know, Beyblade is like very much about customization, so I imagine things are going to be able to be swapped out. Um, but it definitely looks similar to like an engine gear or something. I don't know that it's actually going to be wound up, but it looks sort of in the same vein as like an engine gear, which is really cool. The gimmick looks interesting. Additionally, uh, of all of the patents that I've seen, I haven't seen anything about how a burst gimmick would work. So I'm, I'm not saying that they don't burst, but I'm saying I haven't seen anything that confirms that they do. So maybe, maybe they don't burst anymore. I mean, I know like they said that burst would be this many points and attack would be this many points or whatever. They also said that uh, the Beyblades wouldn't be metal. So maybe they're throwing us for a loop. I don't know. Um, maybe they still burst. Maybe they don't still burst. Um, you know, you know, who knows? Who knows? But the system looks really interesting. The stadium looks definitely interesting. It's definitely not a standard type stadium. So I know people are gonna be upset about that. Um, Hopefully we'll get a standard stadium in the future, but for now, um, this is what we got. And, you know, for what it is, I, I do think it looks interesting. I think it looks maybe a little less gimmicky than like the Zero-G Stadium, which is good. Um, but how it's actually going to function, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this. I think it looks really interesting. So 